Ihe! Hey! It's Skaka after Skaka as more and more skeletons are falling out of the Mkulugu Tunandipa and Tabo Besta closet. One of these skeletons belongs to Katlejo Bereng, a young father of two who was murdered, transported to Tabo Besta's cell, then burned beyond recognition by Febelina Nandipa and her my friend looking side zik. Allegedly, the other skeleton happens to be a letter guaranteed to send shivers up and down your spine. The letter appears to have been written by one of the evil doctor's children as it was written in a handwriting that resembles that of a child and found in a bedroom that appears to belong to a child in the infamous Hyde Park mansion that the two Skebengas and their daughters resided in. The letter reads as follows. Do not enter ever with a sad face drawn next to these words. Mm. Knowing what their dad is capable of, one can only imagine what was going down in that house. In the previous video, we established how the demonic Tabo Bester was created, but we are yet to establish what transformed a seemingly harmless sheep like Dr. Nandipa into a ferocious wolf with no shame and no conscience whatsoever. The following exchange between Bonnie and Clyde Light gives insight into the kind of relationship they have and suggests that Dr. Nandipa may have been forced to partake in the gruesome criminal and fabulous acts she partook in as her life as well as the lives of her loved ones were in jeopardy or rather in danger. Guaisholo omunya umbulali, o keli kumalo. Allegedly! My life has been in danger since day one of the murder, and the people I love have been in danger. If I call you and you don't fucking pick up this phone, uso sola, in Piloyago, Sazwan. I understand why you're saying this, Tom. No, 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 no. I, don't, I don't care if you. I don't care if you understand or don't understand. You are doing your own things, and I told you, you don't do things in this house. Do you understand that? You don't miss my man and Andy The fact that you were upset and you blocked my number. That was the coming your life a number if you ever block my number you will find you and your clothes on the fucking streets you will never block me i run this house i suffer for this house you will not block me do you hear me i block me this time i will drive to johannesburg and i'll take your ass and i'll show you what i'm capable of and if i ever fucking call this phone and you don't pick up i don't want you to make me Frustrated, I don't want you to make me angry. <laughs> A long time. You go and do your own thing. Do you think I am stupid? Do you not think that I have a track on you? Do you not think I have people fucking following your fucking ass? Huh? Don't you think what I'm looking after your fucking safety? You think I don't know what you're doing? I don't understand what you're doing. So let me advise you for the last time. If I come to Joburg and you don't have your fucking affairs in order, you will regret it with your life. Do you hear me? Did you hear me? Did hear you hear me? I hear you. I will kill you and him. Do you hear me? I will fucking murder both of you. Who's him? No, me, la, 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 la. Don't fucking raise me. Don't, don't upset me. Yesterday you created a story. Now, on the weekend, one, two, three, four, five, Hey, tell me something. Unfortunately, I'm politically connected. It means that whoever is close to me, they will be tracked by my people. You are in 20 fucking seven on surveillance if you didn't fucking know. Now you know. Every fucking move you make, when you drive to Natai's house, when you drive to Matt's house, how long you stay there, I know everything. So do not piss me off. You t-
take me as a fucking stupid simple man i promise you on my life you don't want to see the other side of me i like you seeing the stupid me please don't want to see the other side i'm begging you do not push my buttons you are a wife in this house you don't run shit do you hear me you don't run shit you in this house you are a wife you submit to the rules of this fucking house and you will not block, you will not delete, you will not do shit in this house. If you have a problem, take your shit and fuck off. If I catch you again doing what you are doing these days, what's wrong with us? Don't think that you can play the game. Two can die. That's what I can guarantee you. Two will fucking die. If I fucking call you again and you don't pick up this phone, Tell your fucking little dick man that I'll put that dick in your mouth at off. Do you hear what the fuck I said? Did you hear me? Unzwele. Did you hear me? I heard you. Am I loud I and clear? La, 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 I will burn you with that fucking house in High Park and your man. I'll go fetch him and I'll put him in that house and I'll burn the fucking two of you. The, all I ask, if you want to leave, take your shit and fuck off. I'm not holding you against your will. I'm not forcing you to be anywhere, but do not play with me. Do not play with my time. Okay? I can tell you this, Nandipa. I know what, exactly what you're wearing. I know exactly where you are. All the fucking time. Even when you block me. Even when you switch off your phone. You understand that? I know every fucking thing. Do you know why? Do you know why? Do you know why? No, I don't. Can I tell you? Because I can't trust you. From the day I was in jail, I couldn't trust you. Do you think I'm going to trust you today that you think I'm cheating? Do you think I'm going to feel comfortable? Since you think I'm cheating, I'm going to feel comfortable that you are sleeping in my bed, that you're not talking to men, that you're not entertaining men. No fucking ways will I be comfortable. That I can guarantee you on my mother's fucking grave. So let me tell you, Siswam. I go with Kosi, Ushate Nungwana. Nungwana runs shit, not in my house only, in this fucking country. And I can guarantee you, if you want to see your livers, try me. Try me. If I call you again, and you don't pick up this phone, and you fucking try and throw some stupid little fucking, I, uh, where's the money, what, what, what? I will fucking squeeze you so hard, my sister. You will regret the day you met me in your life. And I am not joking. So try me. Try me. Zamilo Toyako. You will see. I will be in Hyde Park tomorrow. And I promise you on my life. If your affair is not fixed. I will fix it myself. And I promise you Nandipa. I will kill you and that man. Do you hear me? There's no way I don't care. I don't want you to answer me. I'm not looking for a response from you. One thing I need you to learn from today is that Tom speaks and you listen. This is my house. So you're going to listen to me. If I catch you doing what you did today and yesterday and last week, I'll break your face. And I don't break your I'll fucking break your face with a fucking slash hammer. Do you hear me? If you ever block my number, just know, at that time you block it, someone at High Park is moving all your clothes or burning them. Because I probably bought all of them. And somebody else is doing something to delete your Instagram page. And somebody else is tearing up Optimum. When you block me, if I call you and you don't pick up your phone, you must know what's going to happen, Saswam. What's was good, Zala? You must know that you must stay wherever the fuck you are if you don't pick up that call. You must know this line does not ring and you don't pick up. I don't give a fuck who you with. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? I heard you. Do not push me, Nandipa. You've accused me of a lot. You've thrown a lot of shit at me, right? And I've tolerated it. And I'm telling you right now. One thing I won't tolerate. I told you when I got out. I told you when I was in jail. If you cheat on me, I will kill you. I am not playing myself. Angali. I am not playing. I'm not joking. You... You must understand this. If you believe I'm cheating with the whole world, that's your problem. But the bottom line is if I catch you, I will put your liver and that man's dick in your mouth cut off. Do you hear me? I'm not fucking playing with you. And I'm telling you now, if you ever block anything that has to do with me, I will fucking tear you apart. Personally, with my own bare fucking hands. Even if it means I go back to jail. Do you understand? 
Do not fucking forget yourself. Do not fucking forget yourself. You are a wife in this house. You wake up. You don't call me. You go to your fucking practice the whole day. You are online. You don't answer my fucking calls. You fucking go wherever you want. You don't answer the phone. You leave people. You walk into my... Can I tell you what you did? You went somewhere, walked out of there, got in the car and didn't answer my calls. I can tell you because I have fucking people watching you. You fucking stupid woman. You think I would leave you to walk the fucking street by yourself? Huh? You think I'd leave you to walk the streets? Huh? When I know there are people out there who want to probably cut the fucking head off. Are you fucking stupid? So let me tell you and your fucking little situation. I'm giving you the freedom to leave. Without hurting you, without fighting you, take your bags and leave. Block me. I will never call you. I will never bother you. You are free. But if you choose to stay in this house, if you open your legs, if you open your mouth to kiss another man, I will fucking rip the life out of you. Did you hear me? I will fucking strip your soul naked. Don't fuck with me. Let me tell you something, Nandipa. I wasn't in jail and nobody touched me because I was a pussy. That I can guarantee you. I was not a pussy. I'm a fucking man. And when it comes to getting to the grind, I will fucking show you a side of me that you don't want to see. So do not push me. I'm begging you. You know, one thing about me is that I'll give you a warning. I am giving you a fucking warning. I know every fucking message you send. I know every fucking WhatsApp you do. Let me tell you, I know I'm not the problem in your life. I know that you are the problem to yourself. So, Mamelalana, Mamelala, this house, if I catch you cheating, and if you continue with what you're doing, I'm going to call that guy, and I'm going to bring him with my boys, and I'm going to cut his dick off with a side cutter. And I'm going to put his dick in your mouth, and then I'm going to rip your eyes out. Do you fucking understand me? Umsuid, do you hear me? I hear you. If you want to try me, if you want to fucking try me, you don't make deals, you don't make any meetings, you don't make any fucking arrangements. I told you last time. You think you've got balls, Nandi, because you can block me. You think you've got balls because you can block me and I keep quiet. You think you have balls because you can go and accuse me of something and I will react. Let me tell you something, Nandi, but there's a point that you get me at. While many people aren't convinced that this voice note is authentic, Considering the existence of advanced technology that can be manipulated, I'm on the fence. There's definitely a possibility that the voice note was manipulated as we're dealing with two masterminds who would do anything to free themselves. While the psychotic Tabo Bester may be busy sealing freedom deals with his corrupt police and politician pals, deadbeat mother Nandipa may be working tirelessly to come across as a victim who simply followed orders as a means to save her life as well as the lives of her loved ones. As she still has access to her phone, which was visible during her apprehension in Tanzania. I too can confirm that she still has access to her phone as she was able to switch her Instagram account from public to private mode while in custody. If this isn't the case, then someone in her camp is definitely doing her dirty work. It could even be her brother, Nkosinati Segeleni, who is now backtracking and supporting his wicked sister. On the other hand, it could be that the voice note is authentic and Vele, they are in a relationship that is toxic. But let's not act like most women aren't addicted to toxic Z. Since the very beginning of time, women have gravitated towards the most vicious men the world has had to offer. And when they would cross paths with wholesome gentlemen, they would deem them boring and unexciting. The same applies in this case. Nandipa was blessed enough to get picked and cuffed by a decent partner 
which is something everybody dreams of, but only the chosen ones get. But she still yearned for a life filled with drama and danger. So she two-timed her husband by reconnecting with her Bandinti ex-lover. She then rekindled their relationship. Not one, but two children while married to Dr. Mkuseli Oscar Makutumana. She even went as far as Ugumbambisa Amajazi. Knowing very well that they were conceived as Hokweni Sasejele. Allegedly! Ooh, wee. The amount of hatred women harbor for themselves needs to be studied. Banza. Anywho, whether this voice note is authentic or not, Skelege Kenandipa had better not try to use it to create a sop story. And if the justice system buys it, it'll prove that si se kake ni esauda. Aibo, oti ngai bal mina la pang sa ingeni dabayen mina sengi international bay for good. So nje giti du tu gunina because aiba anza. Ni sala e banana republic where anything goes and it's real, real sad. Hmm. <laughs> to be honest, msagazi weki wi makutumana's callous nature was exposed when she was confronted by a PI agent for abandoning the luxury vehicle she hadn't paid for in full. <laughs> So this is the no one's fighting this is the purchase reason. process. If you paid six hundred or six fifty, I'm okay. Mm -hmm. There's still a balance of seven hundred outstanding. Mm -hmm. How are we going to get that seven hundred? <laughs> so what they're willing to do is drop the case against you. Mm -hmm. Devin doesn't want to lay. There is a case, mm -hmm. but Devin Devin said we can do this amicably. All he wants is his money, um, and then I'll give you everything. We'll, we'll, oh, you'll, you'll yes, we'll, 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 this is your copy. So, what, you, what we're willing to do is we'll go fetch the car um, from the border. We can't get the car. I'll be honest with you, we're basing to get the car. It's a big because mission, your car. Devin, Devin just wants his money. He wants the 700, which is fair, man. You know, he helped you, he trusted you, and uh, you went back on your word. Uh, you haven't paid him in full. So, you just need to put him the outstanding 700,000 and you'll leave it. Otherwise, he's, well, he, he wants to go to the extent of putting everything over social media. You don't want that kind of thing, you know what I mean? You don't, you don't want bad exposure for yourself, for your business. Let's just sort it out of me, could be well, pay the man and let's move on. Can we come to an agreement? Well, we need to come to an agreement. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Not what we want to. Yeah. I'll speak to the person Devin had an agreement with, and then I will let you know. Who is that person? It's the person he had an agreement with. Even with her feet shackled, she continues to do the Naomi Campbell walk in court, rocking fancy Nike gear as well as her blinding wedding ring. But at the end of the day, she's pulling a resting bitch face She's just as sick as Tabo Bester, if not sicker. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if Tabo was the little bitch in all of this.